This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything, even the Fusion Strike stuff. So be sure to head over to the website PoTownStore.com and use that coupon code ZABDOISTCG for 5% off. Also, head over to cardsmarket.com. If you're a European player, this website is fantastic. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And I personally use it every single day to get rid of cards that I don't need to buy new ones. Use the referral name ZabluCCG and you're helping out the channel tremendously. Last but certainly not least is uh, yourplaymat.com. This website is fantastic when you create your own unique custom playmat. They ship worldwide and uh, of course, right now you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. So start creating your own unique custom playmat for the new season. So thanks for sticking with the commercials let's get this video on a roll peace What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdos TCG here, and welcome back to a TCG video on my channel. On this channel, you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed. And today, we're starting our coverage on Brilliant Stars deck list. Uh, the first one up on the menu is, of course, the highly anticipated Charizard V Star deck. V Star Pokemon are very interesting because it's a new mechanic introduced with Brilliant Stars. V Star Pokemon are two prize Pokemon, but they have a significant amount of power behind them. You have the V Star Power, which is a once per game uh, attack or ability that you can, of course, uh, utilize with your V Star Pokemon. This time around, the Charizard V Star has a Star Blaze, being able to slap 320 damage for only four energies. I know we do not have Wilder in the standard format, but there's of course the Magma Basin, which is a new stadium card allowing you to accelerate energies, and this is going to be a deck paired with Arceus V Star as well for energy acceleration. The Explosive Fire allows you to slap 230 damage if Charizard V Star has any damage counters on it, and with Magma Basin, you put damage counters on yourself. So three energies, 230, and four energies, 320 being able to one hit kill v, uh, v Max Pokemon, all of them, because we have the choice, uh, yeah, the choice bells. New tool card coming in Brilliant Stars as well. So uh, we're going to be running two copies of the Charizard V Star, a very powerful attacker. If you're up against any V Max deck, you're going to be able to one hit KO them, no problems asked, as soon as maybe the second turn. Let's say you go second, get some energy acceleration by your side with the help of Arceus, you're going to be able to utilize it. Next up is going to be the Charizard V Max from Darkness Ablaze. This is going to be a very great Pokemon because now we have double turbo energy, allowing us to slap more damage than ever before. And uh, if you have five energies onto Charizard V Max, you're actually going to be able to slap 300 damage. And uh, the cool thing is you can go back to back 300 because we can then discard the double turbo energy. Double turbo energy will also allow us to slap 20 less damage, but that's 280 with uh, the choice belt, still 310. So there's a lot of capabilities with one copy of the Charizard. Charizard VMAX and it also has 330 HP with more survivability than ever before. Moving forward, there's three copies of Charizard V. This Charizard V is able to, of course, slap 90 damage. Before uh, doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards from your opponent's act so you can knock off stuff like Air Balloon, stuff like Cape of Toughness, uh, other things that could be a, a threat. You could just discard them with Incinerate of the Charizard. Also being able to slap a whopping 180 damage. So uh, three copies of Charizard uh, V. Very interesting to note is that we're also going to be running the one and only Arceus V Star. Even three copies of this card, just because of the fact that Trinity Nova is going to be very good. You also have the Star uh, V Star Power Star Bird Search deck for any two cards. Uh, you're not going to be utilizing uh, this ability all too much, but in nasty situations, let's say you're up against uh, a Water Suicune deck, you're going to be uh, running on Arceus V Star more than the Charizard. So uh, that does make sense to then utilize Star Bird, which allows you to get any two cards from the deck. There's Trinity Nova slapping 200 damage and you can uh, yeah, search it back for three basic energies and attaching to your Pokemon V in any way that you like. So energy acceleration while slapping 200 damage seems pretty strong in my book. And uh, you also are able to, of course, utilize the double turbo energy. So it's only two attachments away from utilizing that powerful attack. All right, moving forward, there's three copies of the Arceus V. Arceus V is very cool because we can use double turbo energy on it, which allows us to utilize this Trinity Charge for only one energy. And uh, that's going to be fantastic because you can search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon V in any way that you like. So Arceus V is going to be one of those cards that you want in the opening turns. We have Ultra Ball and Quick Ball to search them out. We have Switch Cards and Air Balloons to get it in the active position. And we have four double turbo energies on top of four research. So finding this uh, combination shouldn't be all too hard. And as soon as you get 
get this off on the if you go second you're gonna be golden because either uh, the charizard v max could slap for a whopping 300 or 330 with the choice belt or you can go for the charizard v star and uh, go crazy with the 320 v star attack so um very, very cool. So uh, these are like uh, the uh, most sought after cards from Brilliant Stars. Then we have some uh, tech cards I have personally included in this list because I find them very strong. The first one on the list is going to be Moltres, a one price attacking Pokemon, allowing you to slap 90 damage if you have any damage counters on it. You can use Magma Basin to set this up and this is going to be a perfect card to knock out Subbles. You can also knock out Drizzles, you can knock out Galarian Zigzagoon, sometimes you can dunk people with the use of the Moltres. So I love it, also has a one price Pokemon in here. Then we have two two prizers. There's NTV, a new card from, uh, of course, the uh, Brilliant Star set. With the Fleet Footed, you can draw a card. And you also have Burning Rondo. For every Pokemon on your bench and the opponent's bench, you're going to be slapping more damage, just like Suicune V. I think it's a strong card in general as a two prize Pokemon. And then we have the Ninetales V. You didn't, don't see this very often, but this card from Rebel Clash will become way better. You can, of course, utilize the uh, Ninetales Shapeshifter. You can use Magma Basin to put an energy on it and then attach the double turbo energy. And then you're going to be able to copy any attack from your opponent's active Pokemon for free. Not even requiring the necessary energy. So Ninetales V, very strong in my book. And then for consistency... We're going to be running one copy of Crobat V and we're going to be running one copy of Luminion V. Crobat V, you already get familiar with this. It's very strong uh, with, of course, uh, Brilliant Stars because with Ultra Ball, you're going to be able to discard cards from your hand to draw more cards with the Crobat. And the Luminion is in here to search out any card from uh, the deck, uh, whether it's a supporter. So yeah, you can search out any supporter from your deck if you slap it down. It's basically like Tapu Lele GX's Wonder Tag. But then on a Luminion V, retreat cost of one, you're not going to be utilizing the uh, attack here unless you're playing Aurora Energies, but we're not going to be utilizing that. It's just to search out the supporter of choice. Then talking about supporters, here they are. We're going to be running four copies of Professor's Research. There's also a Professor Research of Juniper coming, coming in the uh, Brilliant Star set. So uh, whatever art you prefer, uh, there's even Professor Oak from Celebrations. There's a Sword and Shield Magnolia. So, so many full art researches uh, for everybody, right? So four copies of the research because you want to discard your fire energies to reaccelerate them with Magma Basin in the game. There's also two copies of uh, the Marnie. Why only two copies and not three and, and more? Uh, the cool thing is that you can scout it out with the Luminion at the correct time. Let's say the opponent has drawn so many cards, you can just spin point it with the Luminion. So two copies of that. There's also one copy of Adventures Discovery. This is an additional card to let you search out for, uh, let's say, Arceus V, Charizard V, and Luminion V, or actually a Crobat V. So you can draw cards, slap your uh, Charizard on the bench, slap your Arceus on the bench. It's going to be good. So an additional card uh, that you can uh, search out your Pokemon. I think it's not bad. Then uh, three copies of Boss's Orders. Uh, you want to be utilizing Boss's Orders. There's also a Lysander Full Art coming from Boss's Orders, which is super nice. And also a copy of Cyrus as a regular art. So uh, lots of cool Boss's Orders around. You're going to be able to target down a Pokemon on the opponent's bench, and that's going to be very impactful because either you use the nine tails to KO something Moltres, Entei, Arceus uh, Arceus can slap like 200 damage as the V-Star Pokemon with of course the double turbo energy turning it into 180 with the choice uh, about 210 which is a perfect number to knock out a lot of V Pokemon that still need to evolve here we freaking go uh, moving forward, we're going to be talking about the item cards. We're going to be running, yes, it is back, folks. Ultra Ball is back in the format uh, with Brilliant Stars. You're going to be needing four copies in this list just because it works so well. You can search out your V-Star Pokemon. You can search out a basic Pokemon. You can basically search out anything. And the downside of discarding your energies is actually very good in this list just because of the fact that you're going to be able to, of course, get energies back from the discard power with the Magma Basin. Moving forward, there's also going to be four copies of the quick ball in here quick ball is a, a very uh, useful card and has been playing all the standard decks as of late so why not run four copies of quick ball on top of four uh, copies of ultra ball you don't even need evolution incense anymore thank god it is gone because this is going to be way better uh, four copies of ultra ball four copies of uh, quick ball will mostly be the staple if i had to guess unless you're running pokemon with 90 hp or less then lava ball is also very very good Okay, moving forward, there's going to be two copies of the Choice Belt. Uh, remember Choice Band back in the days of Guardians Rising? Well, 
Choice Belt allows you to slap 30 more damage to your opponent's V Pokemon. So it's just like a Choice Band for a G-Axis, but then for V Pokemon, very, very strong. And it will help out with the numbers quite a bit. Two copies of that in here. Then to have some retreat options, we're going to have two copies of Air Balloon. Uh, a lot of our Pokemon have a retreat cost of two, except for Entei. Entei could sometimes be stuck, but we also have switches on top of that. But the Air Balloon will definitely help out to have some pivots here and there, unless the opponent is running Tool Jammer or Tool Scrapper or whatever. Then two copies of Switch to just uh, follow up on that retreat mechanic, because you need to get that Arceus uh, V-Star in the active position ASAP. That's what you want to be doing. Uh, moving forward, we're going to be utilizing some uh, extra tech cards as the trainer support. So uh, we have Energy Switch, which allows you, sometimes you use Arceus uh, Trinity Star to just, uh, yeah, is it Trinity Star? It's a uh, Trinity Charge, yeah. I think Trinity Star is also an attack back in the day, but yeah. Trinity Charge uh, allowing you to spread your energies around. Sometimes you just spread it on two Pokemon because the opponent might gust up one of these Pokemon and out of nowhere you can use Energy Switch. The Energy Switch could also be useful if you use Magma Basin on a Fire type, then Energy Switch it to Arceus and then double Turbo Energy of the turn so you can get an Arceus V-Star attack off in uh, one turn. So I'll have the one copy of that in here. There's a Tool Scrapper allowing you to uh, knock off uh, Big Charms. Because I think uh, Charizard slaps like uh, 320. Uh, sometimes you don't find your choice valve and they have a cape of toughness or they have a big charm. Uh, you can get rid of that with a tool scrapper. Maybe tool jammer is even better. But uh, yeah, I, I, I opted to go for a tool scrapper instead because then you can also have choice helmet equipped. It. Then moving forward. We're going to be running uh, four copies of the Magma Basin Stadium card. This Stadium card is huge, uh, one of the best stadiums uh, from, in the, from the new set. Once uh, during each player's turn, that player may attach a fire energy from the discard pile to one of their bench fire type Pokemon. If a player attached a, uh, an energy to a Pokemon this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So you put damage on, so Moltres can attack. You of course can uh, set up these attackers in one shot. Uh, yeah, and take an attack for uh, just in one turn. Ninetales can attack in one turn with E Switch. Arceus can attack in one turn. Charizard cannot attack in one turn. But uh, you're going to be utilizing Arceus first uh, with the double turbo energy, which we're going to be talking about very shortly. So four copies of the Magma Basin. And uh, the cool thing with Magma Basin is you also can get rid of Pat to the Peak, which shuts down Luminion, shuts down Crobat, and sometimes could cripple your uh, yeah, Arceus V-Star power if you want to be going for that mechanic instead. Then... Four copies of the double turbo energy. DCE is back, but it's nerfed a little bit. You slap 20 more, uh, 20 less damage to your opponent's active, but who cares when you have choice belts in the format as well. So four copies of this will allow you to attack with the Arceus V straight away. So uh, you want to have, uh, let's say, Either way, you go first or second, it doesn't matter, you, because if you go second, you can instantly go for the Ch Trinity Charge with the Arceus V if you find this. If you go first, you can already get an energy onto Charizard, so you can attack with Charizard uh, moving forward, because it also slaps 230 damage. So, this deck is amazing, whether it goes first or second. The Double Turbo Energy also allows you to attack with Ninetales, and uh, also helps out with Charizard V Max, by the way, for its attack cost. Even though you slap 20 less damage, it's going to be very, very good. Then to finish it all off, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 fire type energies. We'll last you through the game because of the 4 copies of Magma Basin. Let's just make some room for these fellas. Maybe we're just going to be putting these all the way over here. So we have E-Switch and Tool Scrapper on top of this. Now we're going to be putting this a little bit higher. So we have the room for 9 copies of the basic fire energy. You will need all of them. So uh, 3, 3, and three. There we go. This is the first deck list I created. It's uh, inspired by a Japanese list, uh, but I think uh, with the inclusion of Ninetales V and Ante V, I think it could be very strong. This list is uh, just all about the energy acceleration with Magma Basin. You have, of course, more damage output with Choice Battle. You have energy acceleration with Arceus. If you're up against a water deck, you go for Arceus instead of Charizard, and that could help you out. Definitely against Suicune. If you have two Scrappers, knock off their Cape of Toughness, and you win against Suicune with, of course, utilizing Arceus, because a two Scrapper on top of Choice Belt will allow Arceus V start to stop 210, which is the required number to knock out Suicune V. So, a very solid list. Will it be one of the best decks in the format? Let me know in the comments uh, below what you think about this list. What would you include in here? What did I forget? And which deck list do you want to be seeing up next? I want to hear everything down below in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first deck profile of uh, yeah, Brilliant Stars. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic new set. And I can't wait to come up with more deck profiles for you guys. Because I am super stoked to creating and crafting more deck lists. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And... Um, 
as always, if you like what you see, rocking the hell out of the like button, with of course a Trinity Charge is the best way to do it. And uh, yeah, be sure to check out our sponsors as well. There is uh, potownstore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can utilize that coupon code ZABLUSTCG for a whopping 5% of your complete order. And they will have brilliant stars up on stock, I think about like one week before release date. So uh, the release date, the release date is actually the 25th of February. So this is super early content. And uh, I just want to prepare everybody for one of the most best sets in the Sword and Shield era. Also, go check out uh, cardmarket.com. If you're a European player, you're going to be able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day, so uh, use the referral name Zabdos TCG. Last but not least, yourplaymat.com. Want to have a unique custom playmat just like I have? Uh, use, of course, yourplaymat.com. Click the link down below, and you're going to be able to uh, get 10% off your complete order. And uh, they ship worldwide, so what are you waiting for? Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG Brilliant Stars content. Peace.